Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back. Bars and Barbells. I'm Phil. I'm Sam. We're Bars and Barbells because we love fitness. That's a huge passion of ours, and um, we've worked in the industry for quite a long time. It's one of our passions, but that's kind of, you guys have been asking more recently, why is the channel named Bars and Barbells? And we talked about it a lot in the beginning, but we haven't on a lot of the, on the videos. Yeah, we really haven't for a while. <laughs> so that's the background on that. And uh, you guys have kind of ran with it and calling me bars and barbells. And so, you know, we, we, we rolled with it. So yeah. uh, anyways, we got Black Sabbath today, War Pigs. This was a recommendation on the heels of Paranoid, which we did last time. Yes. Uh, which was cool. First introduction of Black Sabbath. Mm -hmm. uh, had that, you know, unique guitar sound that really like sounded like it was Paranoid. Yeah. With the guitars. Yeah, and, that was uh, the that was cool. Yeah. Cool. It was short, short song. I think they were, that you guys were saying in the comments that... They kind of just threw that one together real, real fast to throw it on the album to finish the album, True. but it ended up being one of their more popular songs, That's which crazy. is really yeah, cool. Yeah, works out sometimes. Yeah, and so on the heels of that that video, on in those comments, which are always fire, we are now at War Picks because you guys said we got to get to this one. Now you guys were saying we got to do this one live, and we love to do live performances, but we like to know what we're listening to because a lot of the time. You know, the live performance is going to be different. It doesn't always have to be better or worse. You know, just the atmosphere is a little bit different. The way it sounds a little bit different. You may not pick up all the instrumentation. Sometimes I find it hard to right? Because when you're hearing it for the first time, it's hard to take in the song itself and the actual performance and the yeah. energy of the performance and the crowd and like the hype around it and all of that, right? So we like to listen to the song first, know what we have you know, to, to expect for it, what it to sound like and then do it live. Yeah, listening to it like you guys would, right? Yeah. So I know like this is something we really struggle with and balancing because it's a reaction channel, right? Yeah. And you guys want to see our reaction to something epic that's live. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we also want to appreciate this music. So we're really, really trying to engage with, with that music and engulf ourselves in the music like you guys did when you first heard it. So that's what we're doing with War Pigs here and we'll get to the live version. Tell us which one. Leave us a link in those comments yes. with the best one and we'll get to that. Don't worry, we got lots the time we plan on doing this reactions for a while so um we'll we'll get there but we're going to get to the studio version first war pigs is apparently uh centered around war the war theme um and uh it's one of their more popular songs if not one of the most popular song um and uh it's i think was initially called something else but they changed the name of it because it was focused on like satanic witches and stuff like that and the, yeah. and then they changed it but it was all revolving around the aspect of war the idea of war but anyways you guys can let us know in those comments what the backstory is as you always do with the great commentary yeah. that you provide us with and all the information we are really really appreciative of so you're ready to check out more black sabbath yeah you yeah. liked the last one right i did yes and it was interesting it was unique it was unique. Yeah, it was like you said, like a different sound. Like you could actually hear like the paranoid vibe of it. Which yeah, was cool. and there was you guys were saying that it's kind of the form of heavy metal that was taking place that nobody realized was heavy metal at the time. It was such a unique sound. So yeah. I think this is also maybe going to be heavy metal feel, but we'll cool. we'll see when we get into it. All right, enough with the chit chat. Talking too long. Let's go. Masses. Evil minds that plot destruction Sorcerer of death's construction In the fields of bodies burning 
As the war machine keeps turning Death and hatred to mankind Poisoning their brainwashed minds Oh, larger! Well, this is, cool. this is very, very cool. It's I can so first off, I feel like I understand why it might be that, you know, uh, introduction to heavy metal, the beginning of heavy metal, you know, and this being one of the you know first heavy metal songs that was totally epic because yeah. one of the things we've got to know from doing some of the heavy metal stuff because we had no idea about anything yeah, related to heavy metal fine. before we started the channel is that there's a lot of the compositions you know can be very intricate and you know there's a lot of different pieces and parts to the song and the way it's put together almost like classical music right the way it's comprised so i feel like that's what we're getting into already in this, mm -hmm. this first three minute section yeah, tons of layers yeah and like you know i loved in the beginning they had uh what would, like the air sirens yeah i don't know if you heard that in the background where it was like the bomb sirens mm -hmm. of like the war aspect um you know so crazy too i can't remember what do you remember what year this is from no i'm not sure um 70s right so uh crazy that this is 50 years old we'll say mm -hmm. and it's still relevant the messaging that they're talking about yeah, you know the politicians right. basically just send people to war yeah. and the poor people are the ones that are taken advantage of they don't do anything they just write some something on a piece of paper and say yeah let's go and bomb and kill everybody and all this yeah. stuff and like and they get to stay at like they're showing like this guy up in his like glass house like up in the top exactly. high tower type thing yeah so still so relevant in the messaging i'm, I'm not sure what else we're going to get into but uh then you know the music side of things you know driving bass line really cool drums that they got in the rhythm cool you know guitar. it's yeah the guitar heavy guitar riffs really yeah. really set in the oh, tone yeah. right so uh and and then we haven't even mentioned the one thing that the, the thing that stuck out to me the most of probably was um main lo lead vocal yeah so really great good. fantastic yeah. I, i'm assuming ozzy o o that's ozzy osborne yeah. and that's just the best i've ever heard him sing i haven't heard him sing a lot but like you know so you know in terms of yeah, right um, you and I were both like, okay. <laughs> versus the first song that we did, Paranoid, and the, this one, like, I feel it's, like yeah. his vocal is, like, head and shoulders. I feel like it's way, a lot, like, stronger but, in this. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just clear. The clarity of it, the enunciation of its words is great, which is weird to me because Ozzy Osbourne, like, you have trouble understanding him half the time. Yeah. Right? Now, I, that's, like, later. Yeah, later you on. Know. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Stop talking. You got anything else to add that you want to add? No, I think it sounds great. I really, like you said, I like the heavy guitar riff. I think it's like really soothing for the message of the song and the vibe of the song. And I also really liked his vocals. Those were two things that like stood out to me. Yeah, for sure. All right. Let's let it run for this back end because um, I'm interested to see where it's going to go.
darkness world stops turning Ashes where the body's burning No more war pigs have the power And as God has struck the hour Day of judgment God is calling Underneath the war pigs crawling Begging mercies for the sins Satan laughing spreads his wings Oh Lord yeah. So, what did you think about Black Sabbath, War Pigs? I honestly really liked this. I thought it was like really different and unique. It was really cool. Like you said, I thought that his vocal was really strong in this and stood out a lot. And the guitar solo was good. The guitar riffs were good. All of them. Yeah, literally. <laughs> like I thought the whole energy of it was just like perfect for the message of the song. And I thought the message of the song was really good as well. So. Yeah, like we said, it's still relevant. Um, I thought the, the guitar um, aspect in this was very, very unique, intricate. Um, very detailed. It felt like, you know, uh, building the story. And then I really liked the last portion of the guitar solo um, in that, like, it just, I felt like it was kind of closing the story, the chapter after, you know, they were talking about the judgment comes, yeah. right? Like Satan's just laughing and, you know, yeah, that all these people have done all these things. They're going to pay for their sins. Satan's just laughing. And I felt like the guitar the solo kind of like got to that. <laughs> aspect a yeah. little bit when I was listening to it that's what I felt anyways yeah and um just the drums are very very unique in this like I can't really say I've heard many songs where it just had this like it was like almost like a space in spacing between the drums that added like this unique feel to the rhythm which mm -hmm. was really cool and it almost sounded like um hand drums or tribal drums or something like that that they added in there as well um, I don't know if that was just maybe the sound that they captured, but yeah. it was really, really cool. I liked that aspect. Yeah. And um, the bass, the way it was layered with the guitar, um, in terms of the riff, was very, very sick. Uh, and then, this, obviously, the solo aspect. So, um, 
really really enjoyed it like you mentioned the messaging great messaging um yeah. still re- still resonates today and un- unfortunately yeah. um but should be making the rounds again <laughs> and um yeah, yeah. And, and then we talked about you know lead vocal already but it was it was great perfect just like you know um, i like when songs like this where it has a message and you should be listening to what they're saying it's very very clear yeah and stands out yeah but like it stood out even though there was so much intricacy in the composition of the music yeah so i really really like like the song i i see why it's it's you know got its notoriety but also i can see why from the composition that it resembles heavy metal as well in terms of like it's not the same like what we've got into with the heavier stuff yeah but you can see how this potentially like influence some of set the stuff stage later for on. yeah, yeah exactly. for sure for sure so um yeah yeah cool song very very cool yeah i liked it a lot for sure all right guys well that's war pigs i guess we're gonna have to do the live version now and i would yeah. really like to see the live version of this I would too as well. yeah so uh hit us in the comments with a link on what live version we should do um and uh, we'll definitely get to that hopefully you enjoyed this one if you did hit the like button for us with that little thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed this is your first time on the channel welcome glad that you joined us for today uh if you've watched a couple of videos hit the subscribe button because we always got new content you uh ready to check out some more black sabbath soon i am yeah i'm enjoying them a lot all right so come back and check that out we'll be back soon guys thanks for watching guys see you next time